All right. Um, so the, I wanted to do a quick review on the Vulture. Oh, it's not quick. It just actually took quite a bit of time. Um, hopefully next go around will be quicker. Um, I need feedback from y'all if you can about how you want these reviews to look in the future. But I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at the valuation that I came up with um, and then take a look at a little bit of a gameplay loop. Um, that obviously can be cut out and I can just show you the outcome if you, know, if you just trust that I, I did the gameplay loop. Um, but I did a quick 11 times speed on the gameplay loop so you can take a look at it. It is fairly relaxing um, and I picked a track for that if you want to take a look at that. And then, um, so we'll go from the valuation, we'll take a look at the gameplay loop to see how much money you can get back or how quickly you can pay off your vulture by making the money back. And then of course you can start making profit. And then we'll take a quick run through of the vulture itself. It's a small um, ship, so that shouldn't take too long. And then I'll share some closing thoughts. Um, but hopefully you all like this format. Again, please give feedback on how you would want it formatted in the future, as well as what other vehicles or ships you might want to see in the future as well. Um, I just have some other ideas on content, but um, I think for now I definitely wanted to, I've spent a lot of time with the Vulture and I wanted to share some some review feedback on it. Um, and hopefully CIG might see this in the future and decide to lower the price on it, again, based off the valuation discussion. But yeah, let's take a look. All right, losing track of takes. That's how you know I'm having fun. Um, I keep adding too much data to this. But um, if you go to UEX uh, corp space slash ships, you can actually get a hold of, you can download a CSV, a comma separation value of all the ships that are available. So that's what I did. Um, and that's how I got a hold of the, the vultures data here. And I'm using this to convert. So let's go ahead and go to that now. Um, I'm using this to go ahead and convert the um, at a game price with the end game price. And the way I'm doing that is I'm making a money factor for so as we can decipher how much it costs in AUEC. Um, the UEC is something you can buy uh, basically for every dollar you get a thousand UEC. Um, now you can't actually, I don't think you can buy a dollar's worth. You can buy five, 10, and 20, I think. But at any rate, that still gives us a good baseline to compare the price of the in game price with how much you can buy with real money. So for example, um, I did pledge an upgrade my i think i bought the mustang and i upgraded it to a c8r pisces so you can see here if i were to buy that in game it's just under a million well in real money it would be just under a thousand dollars so obviously no one wants to do that um you would want to get a, a fairly large discount so i've calculated that discount and the price difference here is going to be the discount you get from buying it in in-game money versus the actual package price so that's how i'm able to get the 92 um percent here and so almost 93. So I think this is a good I you know thing to see and compare because uh, I think the in-game prices are, are fairly reasonable. Um, or I don't know, it's easier to get in-game money, right, than necessarily real money. <laughs> so um, it's a good way to kind of compare here. So I bought these top two, right? So I originally actually purchased the Vulture and I upgraded it to the Reclaimer. So I just wanted to see these as well, just to kind of have them here. I may not keep them in future comparisons. Please let me know below if you think I should take these out. But for at least my first sanity, I wanted to take a first look through here. Now the next two I've added, I've added the mule, which is a ground vehicle, and I've added the Carrick. Well, those are the both the least discount, the minimum discount, which in this case is negative because it's actually more expensive. It would be cheaper for you to buy the UEC and buy the mule in game than to pay the $45 for the mule. And I think honestly, when I was looking through the metrics on this, I think all the vehicles were negative. Um, obviously you get a loaner vehicle, I don't want to take the loaners into comparison because it's not like you're getting to keep that. You get to keep the loaner right during the alpha or whatever the different phases might be, beta, so forth and so on. But it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get this live in the game. So I don't think it's good to compare the loaners. I do have them in here just so you can see them, but I don't think it's a good comparison to say, hey, let's add some more value to this just because you get a loaner vehicle. Um, a good example of that is, is the Vulture itself. I actually, when I had the Vulture, I got this Drake Buccaneer. I didn't even know where it came from. Someone told me it's it's probably a loaner to the Vulture, and sure enough, it was. But I only took it out like two times, maybe. Um, so it's not like you're necessarily going to use the loaner as it is. So try not to add that too much to the value. Uh, and that, that's my opinion. Obviously, if you value that, then if there's two vehicles you're going to get out of it and you really want both those vehicles, it's your money. Spend how you'd like. So let's take the, the uh, so the Carrick is actually a high percentage here in the discount. And that's largely because it's relatively expensive in, in money. Uh, in this case, obviously, we're looking at US dollars because that's what I have to work with here. Um, and I am at stateside, so I'm most comfortable with this. Um, but the the price here for the Carrick is very high in game as well. So you're going to get a good discount here because it's such a high price in game and you're paying a fair amount as well but that's why you're getting such a discount because it's obviously it's 
significant 26k uh, to you know round up really it's closer to 27k for you to buy it with real money if you just wanted to buy it in game you wanted to get that almost 27 million um to be able to purchase that now we're looking at the vulture the prospector and the c2 um i really wanted this prospector here because i think that's a good comparison we're looking at two different gameplay loops here and it's a solo solo old solo a bull vehicle to do that gameplay loop so i think this is a really good comparison now the c2 i kind of throw it in here threw in here as well um i definitely would like feedback on how many comparisons y'all would want to do these valuations um but i kind of just want to see i thought the c2 because the freight isn't totally played out however though you could do with the c2 you could do some salvaging with it and then kind of collect the um obviously if you're doing a salvage on a c2 there's gonna be a lot in there as far as freight so you can actually go and resell that so i mean it's it's somewhat of a gameplay loop clearly it's not as defined as mining and salvage currently is but um it is something that people kind of get into and it's somewhat of a logistics so i decided these are good comparisons these are the, the ones i chose if you would want to see different ones please let me know down below um, how you want the comparisons to be done in the future if i did more of these reviews but i think it's a good way to take a look at the valuation here so <clears throat> We're looking here, I actually made this red because I think the discount rate on this is not good. And I don't think it's because this price is too low. Uh, it's because this price is too high. <laughs> so when we're looking at a comparison, again, I think the Prospector and the Vulture are the best two close comparisons. The Prospector is more expensive in game. And I think that's fairly reasonable given that you get a fair amount of SCU compared to um, the SCUs available in the Vulture. So you could do some you know, car going with it. <clears throat> Obviously, is that ideal? No, I mean, it's but you could do something like that. If you wanted to do some small trading, you could do that. Um, it, um, I don't know, you know, it, I think it's a good comparison here, but, and I, but I don't think the vulture price should go up at all in game. I think this is a really good price. Um, but what this means is I, I think that this needs to be closer to 90 or higher percent in order for it to be a viable option for people to be buying with in-game money. Uh, the other thing I did here is we take a look at per SCU. I actually took that price and I, it as a calculation based on how much you're paying in dollars in real dollars for each um, SCU of space you're getting. Clearly the SCU is actually higher. Like you can get, technically you can get 24, really it's closer to 23 in the Vulture, um, but that's not always comparable too, because you can't put like a 16. I don't think you can fit a 16 in there. Um, like if they think you're stuck at eight is the biggest weight you can put in there. Um, you can maybe fit a 16 in there. I don't quite recall off the top of my head. Um, so maybe you can get a 16 in there, but you're not gonna get two of them in there. So, I mean, even if they upgraded this, you're still fairly limited on the cargo space available in the Vulture. And again, the 12 is what you're given. So if they want to upgrade this to like 24 and make the lockable spaces, then then they can go about doing that CIG. But as of right now, when you're comparing it, you know, SCU to SCU and the actual value um, versus in game, I think, again, I think this is a very reasonable price of a Vulture. Um, the problem I have with it is this here, and it's given the rate that you're actually getting. And so the discount rate needs to be closer to 90 or 92. And I actually did the calculations on that. So if it was 125, that's much closer to a 90% discount. That at least brings it somewhat in line, but you really want to bring it in line. You want it to be literally almost the same as the prospector. It would need to be close to $100. And I did the calculation here. $95 is actually almost spot on. So you see here, I don't know what the uh, third um, on the decimal is here, but you're, it's very, I made a little note here because $95 is really on parity with the prospector. So if they wanted to bring the price down to be more in parity with what you're getting in value of the prospector, it would be $95 in the store. Um, do I think that's a good, I think that's actually good. I think they make it 95 like that as a game package. Maybe that's how they do the vulture from now on, right? They, they maybe it would be, I think the game is valued at like $20. So it'd be, you know, 115 or so for this instead of being 95. Uh, maybe that's the best way to do the vulture. I would have bought that. I mean, I, I, again, I did buy the vulture. Um, I would have. I almost considered upgrading my C8, but I wanted the C8R. So, um, because I thought I'd do more bunker running, I just ended up not doing that. Okay, I don't want this segment to go too long here, but really, um, if you want to get the vulture, then obviously buy the vulture, it's your money. But if you want to look at the per value, um, with the rate it's discounted versus how much you're paying for in game, um, it's not really hard to make this amount of money in game. It just, it just isn't. Um, if, I wish there was a loan mechanic where people can loan you money a little fairly reliably, but someone would be willing to give you this money. I mean, I, I'm actually considering, I don't know how to do it very well, and I'd be I'd welcome comments below on how people want to do this, but I wouldn't mind giving away a couple vultures. Um, I don't know the best way to do that because I don't want people to run into scams. Obviously, I'm not a big enough YouTuber yet for people to have that problem, but I don't know the best way to do that as far as giving out some vultures, but I wouldn't mind doing that for the community. All that being said, again, I don't think the valuations here is very good. Um, and you can see here that you're only getting an 86% discount off of uh, the end game price at this current dollar amount. So really, again, I would 
highly recommend that people with the community give some feedback that they lower the price. Is it possible for them to do that? I don't know. Obviously, people have to be compensated. So maybe they get a drink of Buccaneer or, you know, maybe there's somehow they get um, a free mule or something like that, right? Maybe they lower the price to 95 or $100 and the people that, that bought early get a free vehicle or something like that, right? They, they, I think there's a way they can make this right and lower the value, lower the price to increase the value in the vulture. Because I think they're missing out of sales on this. Like if they bring this down, I think it would get more sales. And again, 125 is the minimum I would want to see on it. Um, but really, it needs to be $100. Even 95 would be great. 95 would bring it alongside with um, the comparisons here that I have as a prospector in the C2. The 92% is much more in line with some of these other vehicles on the discount rate um, compared to what we're looking at. So yeah, I just wanted to do a quick value on that or take a look at the valuation. And please let me know if uh, y'all would like to see other things. Obviously, I've done this for all the vehicles that are on sale in the store with a, a U, AUEC price as well as a real uh, monetary price. And so I've done that calculation. So if you want to take a look at more of these in future reviews, please let me know which vehicles you want to see. Obviously, the Connies and the Cuddies would be a good example because those um, are their own variants. And so um, honestly, giving a little more feedback, I don't, I don't like to waste your guys' time, but I think they should look at the actual vehicle market and do something similar to that um drake shouldn't necessarily be their own manufacturer they should have to be there should be another manufacturer that does drake vehicles but more like a lexus and a toyota where there should be a higher end version of a drake ship they may offer some more value um, and be a higher price they can just sell it that way so i think that's something they should do maybe look at doing as an option um, offer the same vehicle in different price tiers and then offer different things in there kind of lean on that modularity maybe make the ship modular um, because I know they're looking at doing that in the future state. I know they should have done that a long time ago, from my understanding, at, at looking at some videos. But anyways, that's just a thought. So yeah, please let me know below how you would want to continue to see these valuations. If you find it's helpful, if it's not helpful, please let me know as well. Um, thanks, y'all. Let's take a look at some more. Um, I have next, next, I have a look at playthrough. Um, there's a valuation in here on how quickly you can actually earn this money back with the Vulture. Um, so we'll take a look at that after I do a quick playthrough on... Um, like 11 times speed on making that money. And please let me know below if you want to see that. I just put some audio dub over the top of it just so you can see what it looks like to do a Vulture playthrough. Um, and I did about 30 minutes. We're going to kind of extrapolate that to an hour's worth of money instead. And yeah, so I'll talk through that next.
All right, so let's take a look at how much we're selling these for. Um, obviously, I've already done this video, so I know what it sells for. But at 13, almost 13.5K um, per box, um, you're able to make pretty good return here on your vulture. So selling these, the biggest challenge you can run into, you can see here there's a very high inventory. So that's going to be the biggest thing you're going to run into. But shy of that, as long as you can sell it, you're going to make a pretty good profit. So doing the scraping is going to be the best way to make your money back. Um, doing the fracking is, is good if you can make money on the mission itself. But all in all, selling the recycling is a good way to make the money. All right, in the interest of trying to come up with a good time frame on how quickly you can go ahead and pay off or regain the money that you spend in game on the Vulture, um, I did a, a 30 minute run. Um, I actually did a Vanguard as well as a C2. Um, I would definitely recommend just doing a the larger ship. So if I would have done a C2 um, instead and focused on that, that would have been a better way to look at this. So it took a little over 30 minutes, but it would have been only 30 minutes if I just stuck to the C2. So, and with the 30 minutes, you would do about half of the C2. Um, so I could do a hammerhead in about 45 minutes if I'm really like focused in. And what I mean by like, actually completing it, you actually can't frack um, a large vehicle like that, but you can scrape it. So um, what this is, is a comparison of scraping a hole and selling that um, uh, material. So the uh, recycled material is going to be the best way to make the best bang for your buck. And so there's a range here because this is um, taking into account the 25K. It's obviously 50K for that mission, but within 30 minutes, I did about half, right? So I halved the cost as well. Um, if you're looking at an hour, if I kind of um, extend that out, <coughs> the expected hourly amount that would have made would have been, you know, um, 56, uh, 567,600. Um, that is including the 50K a value or 50k amount that you're having to pay to get that mission now this is actually if you didn't have the 50k if you just found an a2 or a c2 or something by itself um this is the amount of money you could expect if you didn't have to pay to get the mission um so the payoff is as a little bit of a range as well it's going to be a little over two hours two hours almost two and a half for if you're paying for a mission in this particular case uh, obviously it's just over two hours if you're not having to pay for it. if you just find a couple ships that is possible there's actually a fair amount of hammerheads that are around I don't know if it's just the way that mission works out there and they're yellow, um, but there are hammerheads out there that just aren't being used. And obviously they're, they're derelict ships. So you're going to find derelict ships in the verse. Um, it's just without the mission, it's going to be harder to find that. Um, but you're going to get more value, obviously, if you don't have to pay to get your own derelict ship. Um, but yeah, that's a quick look at it. So it takes about two hours, which is where I, I mentioned before in the valuation piece is that <coughs> getting a little over a million dollars, millions of um, AUEC, is not impossible and is fairly easy to do um in this case the vulture could pay itself off pretty quickly and then allow you to get another ship obviously i have a video as well on my youtube through the guide um, this is not meant to be a guide it's just kind of again to value the vulture and discuss um, some review points of the vulture um, but i do have a guide where you, i actually make a little under half a million and it's actually a little over 20 minutes so it's less than 30 minutes to get half a million but that is a pretty specific niche and i do feel like they're going to nerf that at some point so i don't think that's a prolonged way to look at this um, to try to determine the payoff amount um, it's better to take a look at <clears throat> what an actual mission could be and how much that would cost also i do want to note that that 50k mission is not available initially for you you have to work your way up to that um, but it doesn't take very long to get that unlocked um, you just have to scrap a couple ships um, you honestly you probably just frack them right now just frack those ships to unlock the 50k missions so you could do that within another hour or so probably less than that but i'll just say safe to say another hour for you so it would add an attack on an extra hour here in order for you to really get your payoff value if you haven't already unlocked those missions if you've already unlocked those missions by you know working with someone else with a reclaimer or something like that or you worked with someone else with a vulture then you're well on your way to make your money back pretty quickly um, but yeah there's a, a quick look at how much it would cost you to go ahead and pay off that particular vulture so looking at the vulture from tip to butt um Essentially, up front, you have these very large tuning forks that are used to actually salvage. Um, up front, you have uh, two salvage heads. I actually like to change the salvaging heads to um, two abrasive 
and then two of the trawlers. So if you take a look at mine, I have this in my guide as well, but I do like to buy the abrades uh, on each side because I don't find I use the tractor beam too much. Plus it's it's currently bugged and you get a fine um, for, well not fine, but you get a, a crime stat for doing that. So I don't recommend doing that. Um, if you want to use a tractor beam, if you find that you run into ships a lot, obviously a tractor beam might be useful. But for now, I find um, using two scraper heads instead is a good idea. Um, in this case, the abrade. And then I get two of the trawler, which is the same size as the ones used on the reclaimer. Um, I don't know if it actually covers the same area. It does give you the details. So you can actually see how efficient these are, how sp um, the speed is, and the, the coverage of them. Um, so that's something you can compare in real time. Uh, but overall, I find those two to be the better versus the, the fine-tuning of the scraping one that you can get a hold of. Um, these, these are the one, the cinch one, sorry, um, that you can use for scraping. Um, these are the ones I find to be most useful. So again, this isn't meant to be a guide, but I just wanted to share that feedback uh, or input on um, how I, I came to, to pick those. Um, so yeah, there are good lights on here. This allows you to illuminate your target pretty well. Um, sometimes I find them to be a little bit two in the way when I'm hull scraping. Um, so sometimes I'll turn them off just to kind of see it. So yeah, you can kind of silhouette the target uh, different ways that you might want to. There are nice four big screens here that you can customize. Obviously you hit the little menu button here and change um, these to whatever you'd like to. So if I wanted to see the shields up here, I, I would leave the shields up here and I can change this one from shields to um, to power management or something. Well, I've got power management here, so I wouldn't take a look at ship status, right? Because that's what was up there before. Um, but yeah, there's nice um, uh, four displays here. I like the having the radar up here as well. So sometimes with the salvaging, um, it'll tell you where to go on the salvage, but then you get to the salvage, sometimes it won't target your salvage. So you might see like a little white dot. Just turn your heading to that and then center it, and then you'll be able to tell where it is that your salvage target is. You can target that and start to move in. Usually when you do that, it'll then show up with the salvaging bracket. Um, I know I've kind of shared that in my guide. You can see that bug where it doesn't quite show you where you need to go to salvage your target. Um, so having this kind of radar here is a good thing to have. So you can see what other things going on. Plus you can see other contacts as well if you have people that are interested in uh, taking your stuff, right? So that's good to see what's going on with that and see it right there in real time. Additionally, back here you start to see ship components and the main door here. Um, there's a light switch on all of these, which is nice to have too. You can turn that on or off to kind of, I don't know, if you want some kind of ambiance or something. Um, maybe you're getting busy. But um, yeah, there's some um, components here that aren't really usable. Um, but as you go into here, there's a couple coolers, right, and power plants, so those are usable components. Um, I actually don't know what this is. Um, I don't, it's meant to be some kind of industrial, I think, printer or something, but um, there's a bathroom right here um, that you can uh, open and close, um, and you can bring the toilet up and down. It's a bathroom-shower combo. Um, you have your own bed, so you can actually log out. Um, I do find this useful if I'm salvaging. Um, be careful when you do this. If you have um, salvage, I hear there's bugs around. Um, thanks for the comment uh, that someone left around. Um, bugging out. I don't remember if it was the recycle material or the construction material, but one of those two seems to bug out if you do log out um, when you have those in the back, they could become non sellable So that's obviously not ideal. So it's definitely good to log out when you want to start up a mission set and, and kind of get a, a good run going, um, but logging out before that may not be a good idea. Um, down here we also have a little container storage that you can get access to, um, and then there's more of that locker storage um, coming up in here, uh, as well as a weapon rack. Um, so those are nice to have as well. I do find this ladder is pretty buggy, so instead of walking down it, I usually, um, thanks for someone who made a good uh, comment to that. Um, also, here's the quantum drive as well if you ever wanted to get that. It's also good to note these because if you're salvaging a vulture, you want to know where these are if you want to pull these components out and sell them. I do know that as a factor. Um, I didn't do that in my little clip where I made money. Um, if you want to salvage fully, right, you would tear down the whole ship, take all the weapons and things of that nature. but. With a Vulture, you don't have a lot of room. So with the Reclaimer, I usually find myself doing that. But with the Vulture, I usually don't do that because I'm limited to SCU. Um, so yeah, so with the ladder here, instead of walking straight down it, I like to either back through it or walk to the side. And you can hop right down without having to fall through the ship. Unfortunately, I've fallen through the ship many times um, in the past uh, due to kind of a bug. Um, so then in here, there's more components on the wall, uh, shield generators, as well as like gravity drives and things of that nature. But, um, Really, this is the kind of key piece of the Vulture here. This is where you're going to put your SUs. There are 13 SUs that can be held in here now of your construction recycle material that can be outputted in these little boxes. So um, when I previously shot this, this box was sitting here, but unfortunately I had an audio problem with my first take. So here is a look at the um, SU box. This is a one SU. This is all you can get out of the Vulture. Um, luckily, the Reclaimer does a one, two, 
um, 8 and 16 I believe boxes and it obviously has much more room but this is all you're going to get in a uh, Vulture is the little 1 SCU boxes and there's 12 um, spots of storage here. You can fit more here as well. You can get about 8 along this wall here. Um, 8 by 2 by 1 so 1 in width, um, 2 high and 8 boxes along the length here. And then you can get about 4 boxes right here as well. So yeah, that's a kind of look at the Vulture as well as there's ability to open and close the hatch here um, and get access. Um, with this ramp, if it is a little close on the back end here, obviously it'll kind of push your ship up. So do be mindful of that when you're trying to exit. If you're landed on ground that isn't necessarily even, um, you may find your ship kind of like getting wobbly. Um, so be mindful of that. But shy of that, I mean, it's a well-built ship and I, um, I like the layout of it. Um, I don't know what I would change. I would maybe put a seat up there for a, another person, but it is a really good solo ship. Um, I think it, it fits that, that niche very well. Obviously, some people bring along another person to help them, them make money or to manage the cargo as you're um, doing your, your uh, salvaging. So people will lay down on the bed up there while the pilot does the piloting. But yeah, there's a quick look around at the Vulture. All right, thank you all for joining me in this video. It took a little longer than I would expected, but there was a lot of content to cover as well as um, I had to kind of lay a groundwork on how I wanted to do these particular uh, reviews. And so let me know what you think about them. If you think that I should cut certain cut segments to shorten them up, please let me know below. Um, I think some people might find value in the valuation discussion. Um, some people might find value in looking at what the, even though if it's in quick speed, 11 times speed, on how hole scraping works, um, but it gives you kind of a good rundown of how much money you can make and again, how much you can kind of um, buy back your vulture. Because again, in this case, I do find that uh, buying the vulture in game is the best way, best bang for your buck. And so go about buying it in game, how quickly you can make that money back and how much you can start making profit at that point. And then finally, a quick run through of the vulture, um, which there's tons of videos for that as well, but I just want to do a quick rundown of it. But let me know what you think on that, and I'll also let me know what other reviews you might want to see in the future as well, and I can potentially do those. I bought quite a few ships in game at this point um, because uh, making money and salvaging has been fairly lucrative. So um, I, I may have sounded harsh on the Vulture um, during the valuation piece, but I do think it's a great ship, and I think it's good to buy in game. But again, um, it's your money. Spend it how you like, but I just wanted to have a good discussion around the the vulture in general again i do like the ship and i think it's it's a great buy um but do try to buy it in game that's about it for me uh see you next time